Hello there everyone and welcome back to the AEIOU 1886 mod in which we have the final conclusion that we saw at the end of last video. Now I ask you guys whether we should or should not go to war or be a little bit more defensive. Now overall I, like there's support for both sides. At the time of this recording there's actually quite a bit more support for us to go to war and as someone did say even if we go to war and we lose we still get new content maybe. We'll see what happens. So we'll never back down. We're going to lose attack and a little bit of defense. But France loses attack and defense as well. The same amount. We get actually, actually let's see. We get Franco pressure more. So we both get division, attack, and defense, and core territory. Let's see what happens. All right. Do they attack us? No. Well, hopefully we can sally on in and have a good, good, uh, good old time. So this division actually down here, even though it's not, this is like the mercenary division. Uh, it's 40 combat width. And these guys... They're 20 combo with, so we're going to let, let, let these guys go in. Let's see. Can we do well here? Let's see what we can do, my friends. Can we beat up the French? Hope they don't have air superiority, which would be kind of weird if they did, but, you know, whatever. Oh, no, guys. You want to go in there. It's not going to be a big encirclement, but it's still going to be an encirclement, nonetheless. Go, 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 and we've got them. Take out their horses. They don't need horses where they're going. Uh, who do we encircle? Horses. Um, that's really hard to tell who's, where, what, when. Canada. Uh, sure, Papal States. Uh, the Pope wants to join us. As well as the Principality of Liege. Liege. Sure, why not? So, who's the Pope right now? Leo the Thirteenth. Very cool. So, we've lost, oh my gosh, 6,000? That's a lot of dead guys we lost already. Holy smokey smokes. Where are you guys at? Oh, you guys are getting attacked. Oh, this is a good way to drain them with the manpower. They can't kill us here. That's actually really good. Uh, the horse is going to be very, very beneficial for us, though. Hopefully. All right, so in the meantime, we're going to do this again. Every single time, we're, uh, my goal right now is to completely encircle and destroy enemy divisions. That's the main thing. Ooh, we can mobilize a country. Mm, ooh, we could do that. Ooh, we could. We'll try it. Why not? Five days. We can hire some more, but uh, then again, our technology is going to get rid of some of these. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't have done that one. Maybe we should, not, we should not do that one. Uh, we'll see. Come on, horsies. Move on over, guys. Oh, look at that. They're looking kind of weak. Uh, these guys are... Oh, wow, that sucks. Guys, where's your divisions? We kick all of these guys' arms as well. I'm not sure that would be really beneficial, but... Or not. Oh, oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, yep, yep. That was probably a bad idea. Oh, well. Actually, that would have been... <sighs> I should have kept in there. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay, guys. Go move on in there if you can. Can we actually win? Go, go, go. Well, we got two swords left. That's not good. All right, so you guys... Oh, 17 divisions. That's not too bad. Um, you guys come over here. And throw you guys right here, too. You guys are the main arm here. So, actually, I'm going to have both of you split off. And Gabino? No. We have no more political power. God dang it. Uh, Gabino and whatever. Doesn't really matter too much. Just hold the line. That's the main thing. Just hold the line for now. How are you guys doing over here? Oh, uh, you're doing okay. We've lost 7,000. Well, we killed 13,000. So that's not too bad. Not too great. And I want you guys to help to support the attack. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was a bad idea for to kill those guys up, up top first. Really not a good idea. Please help move in, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you guys are defending. You guys are going in, hopefully, maybe, or something. No? Okay. Please go in. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I need you to just defend your booty off. And we got encircled. God dang it. This is not good. Okay, so we, we're here. We're doing okay. You guys come down there, and you help support the attack right there. There you go. You can hold for now. We don't want to take too many more losses. Oh, what? What? How did they get in there that fast? No, 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 son. No, you're going to die now. God dang it, that was a circlement gone wrong. All right, so we've lost a lot of guys so far. Maybe they'll start attacking us, actually. The writing of Olentero. Okay. Oh, I'll take some of stuff, too. Thank you. Uh, Jose Antonio de Sagastich Belcha has done it again. The renowned theologist, linguist, and writer born in the Pyrenaic village of Astiz has written his third volume of the Tales for Children. Having earned international praise for the past two books, Up in the Mountains and the New Tartalo, ha now has published his third one, Olentzaro, just in time for Christmas as it narrates the tale of a Basque coal maker who goes in a journey to meet Jesus at Bethlehem and eventually gains God's favor. 
Originally published in the Roncalese dialect of the Basque language, Sagatebelcha has been continually approaching for the unification of the dialects towards a more stable and thus divided communication system. His efforts have been in vain for now, but who knows what this bright man can achieve. Very cool. Just take the towel. Oh, we also been... Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We definitely need more divisions here. Are you guys moving in, hopefully? That's good. Keep moving, keep moving. So we have a solid front line. How, how is India doing? I'd love to attack and encircle, but I kind of don't think we can. Modernization of the army. Uh-oh. After a lot of efforts and reforms, we are finally able to greatly increase the size of our army over the past capabilities in both numbers and strength. Long gone are the days of levies and mercenaries, for this is the army of the future. Long live our nation for many years coming. May we grow more powerful. Oh, is that a good thing to do? I don't know, man. Mm, that's a little bit ahead of time. All this stuff now is a little bit ahead of time, so we're kind of okay there. Maybe now we can actually throw on some artillery, since we were making some artillery before, right? Wow, it looks really bad. Holy crud. That looks extremely bad. Um, keep making some arty. Oh, look at these. Mercenaries? Uh, well, those are nice. Line infantry is not bad. This is what we're currently using. If we were to do this, we would still have enough. So that gives us at least a little bit more of a pu punch when we're attacking and defending. Other than that, this takes a lot of support equipment. We will barely have enough. So actually, that's not too bad. So maybe the overall, this is not a bad thing. Time will tell. Oh, never mind. That was a bad thing. Oh, we're, we're going to lose India. That was bad. Arr. Well, gosh darn it. Insurrection of the palace. One thing that will get us through the chaos. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Line mercenaries. Medium cavalries. Heavy cavalries. A slightly slower. Organization of 40. What are the mediums? Organization is 30. I want you guys. That costs 20,000 apiece. Holy smokes. A new hope. Francisco, Desired Monarch, Disastrous Campaign, The Home Front, Securing The Home Front, Ports. Moderate Measures for Moderate Times, no. I guess we'll go with A New Hope. I didn't know this was Star Wars, Episode 4. Cool. Okay, maybe the goal is to get to the river. I think that would probably be good. They do have forts here, so we got to attack like here-ish or something. Just get our guys on the front line first. That's the most important thing to do. Hopefully they attack us, and we need time to, you know, make more equipment as well, so... Oh, the Pope's showing up! Hey, Pope guys, Pope dudes, Pope Perinos, Pope Daddy. So this would be nice, though. Hmm. I'm going to come over here and get this towel first. Come here and Tardibes. Oh, Spanish Netherlands is gone. Whatever it is, what it is, my bad. I should not have called him in the war. There we go. Alright, so now they're definitely filing out. That's not good. Help support the attack. Attacks are so incredibly costly. Oh, my goodness. Each attack is so costly. Of course, we killed 30,000 of them, which is nice, but still. We're going to need more planning. Let them come over, and hopefully they'll attack us. I hope they'll attack us. How do they get ships? Oh, they are attacking us. Oh, baby. A lot's going on here. Oh, we lost that tile. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man, we've lost... Eh, not that much more, actually. You help beat them up. Hopefully this will kill off a lot of their enemy these enemies, too. Oh, man, they really don't like us here, huh? What do you mean you don't like us here? What's wrong with all y'all? You guys hold. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about attacking. Just defend, defend, defend. You all lost. Wow, that that really sucks. All that we did, and for nothing. Kill them off. Move them up. Move them up. Good. Get back in there. Oh, we got another division. Nice. 1890s melee equipment would be very good. Can we get more output? No, it's 1900. Um, I want ships, but I'm not sure that's going to be really helpful. We need more resources here, definitely. So maybe extraction? Maybe? Okay, a division has arrived. Not bad. Pretty good. Okay, for the coronation of Francisco I. Today, a massive gala was held at the Royal Palace in Madrid to celebrate the coronation of King Francisco I. Massive rallies of support clogged the streets of kilometers. Cel celebratory bells and bands were only barely heard over the roar of love and support from the crowd following the disposition of the highly unpopular King Felipe. The people's hopes are high for the popular young king. Francisco's presence on the throne has united the Spanish population in a way that hasn't been seen in decades, maybe centuries. If Francisco can ride this wave of popular support correctly, he may be able to shape Spain in any way he wants. We shall welcome the new king. Nice. Hey, he's got a stash. Very cool. 
Is our monarch? Yes. Get rid of disastrous campaign. Oh, that's hurting our stability. I didn't realize that we were hurting our stability like that. As much as I want to get new ones, I don't think we can really afford to do that right now. Actually, we can. Maybe a little bit. Eh, it's alright. Just gonna do that. It's fine. Okay, so much manpower do these guys have? Holy crap! How are they doing so well against us then? Oh my goodness. Alright, so if we're gonna lose a tile here, then you're gonna lose a tile too. Um, we're gonna need some more manpower so we can raise our conscription level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did you guys all come from? Come on, attack us again. See what happens. We've lost, what, 27,000 versus 61,000? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Let's see. Spanish. Oh, this is 20 combat with, huh? Heavy mercenary cavalry. We're out of a lot of stuff. Except melee equipment now, which is nice. Um, you guys are 20 combat with, huh? I mean, it's either 40s or nothing, so... There you go. Get some art already on you guys. Just dig in. Actually, do these divisions... Yeah, these guys actually have engineers too, so that's pretty good as well. Let's, let's say we were to remove these guys. It would help if we got some generals here too. Marcus. Marcus. Okay, sure. And you guys? Johannes Smith? Yeah, you're looking pretty good. Alright, well that should help us out. Go for defensive stuff. Why not? We need to keep as much PP as possible here. You know what? Go and retreat. That's fine. This is core territory. How are they breaking through here? What a bunch of cheetahs. Because I can't think of any other way that we could be losing here. How? How? We're literally on def defending on core territory. There's no way that they can kill us off like this. There's no way. Especially with engineers. Oh my goodness. 34,000, 77,000. They're not taking enough damage yet. But the desired monarch. Very good. Let's go with the home front. Securing the home front. Send some guys in. They need some help. You pieces of garbage. You want to keep attacking? Go keep attacking then. See what happens. This is our territory. Get out of here. God, how many Frenchmen have to die for this? Not enough. Good God, they are just attacking like a bunch of crazies. Okay, so we need more manpower. How do you get more manpower? Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about it. Just defend, defend, defend. Um, I don't want to cut this division out, but I guess if we have to. Alright, so that's our goal. Get more manpower next. These guys have got to be out of equipment. They have to be, right? Look at that. That's insane. Uh, do any of these guys have upgrades yet? Um... What you, uh, that, that's not going to help these guys at all. I mean, help them with plus one attack, actually. Just because that, that's going to help you out regardless, so. Uh, Pedro, no, okay. Hundred twenty-three thousand. that's way too many divisions still. You're not going to take this tile. I love that it's a questionable tile, too. Okay, securing the home front. Oh, a lot of things were bypassed. Now that we are at war with the French, we must find a way to secure our homeland against the threats from inside. Francisco knows that all the worthless generals and pro-French nobles have been taken care of before we can make significant moves against our greatest enemy. However, Franklin Sis Francisco and his nobles are unsure of how to dispose of them. More moderate nobles have called for the traitors to serve the rest of their lives in imprisonment. Francisco and some more radical nobles, on the other hand, have called for the execution of the traitors and leaving it there. It would clearly show that Francisco has no tolerance of dissent. After hours of deliberation, it is time for Francisco to make his choice. He is convinced by the moderates and throws him in prison. Okay, so this one auto-bypassed this one. And this one. So we lost him already, which makes sense. But, I guess, the wounded bull. Monarchic continuism, huh? The kingdom strikes back. Oh, political schism? Second time's a charm. The French secret weapon. Man, we lost all that political power. Gosh darn it. This is not good. On the tightrope? Uh, the wounded bull, I guess. More population. I mean, that's what we needed, but still. I hope these guys are paying dearly. Oh, good. Even better engineers. That's nice. Can we get better artillery? Yes, we can. Get better artillery. You know, hold. Don't worry about man. Just don't lose. Okay, you want to attack again, you son of a gun? Yeah, keep attacking. See what happens. We're going to take your tiles back, you piece of garbage. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Get him out of there. Defend on those mountains. 
Get in there, son. The French are just monsters. They've already killed 100, almost 50,000 of them. More soldiers to the... You already have more than enough soldiers. Holy crap. You can tell they're going to attack again somewhere. We have just not enough strength right now to even do an attack. So Actually, we got a lot of heavy cavalry because we stopped doing that. Medium cavalry would be very good to get, as well as infantry equipment. So, yeah. Well, I guess we're just waiting for this to finish so we can get some more manpower, I guess. That would be nice. Manpower is always nice to have. The Wounded Bull. Fights until the end. Shall rise again. Yes. More war would be pretty good, I suppose. After that, what else do we have? Come on, guys. Keep attacking. Western push-out. Eastern push-out. Counter-offensive measures. Catalonia gets more factories. I like that. More manpower. Secure the mountain passes. Also not too bad. Proclaim the unification of Navarra. Set up an organizational regime. Deal with the local nobility. Honorable peace. Um. Okay. I went just for technology. Regimental combat teams would be kind of nice. But getting more breakthrough for tanks. I'm not sure that's going to really help out that much, but whatever. Yeah, I'll take some stuff. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys. I'm just going to wait for them to attack us again. Because as you can see, they're completely Spain's downfall. The Dijon meeting. The descent from within. Oh, always false. Oh, oh man. If the Portuguese join in, we're, we're, we're screwed. We're completely screwed. What type of crap is that? What? <laughs> No one joined us. Man, I guess we should not have gone to war then. I don't like that. I really don't like that a lot. Now, if we back off, will they attack us some more? Maybe? So maybe we'll come down here. Let's appear weak so like, we can attack them. Shall rise again. Alright, so let's go counteroffensive measures, maybe? Eastern push out. Navarra. Let's do counteroffensive measures. Let's see. Upper Aragon. Navarra. Wait, which one is this one? This one says Catalonia and just Navarra. It doesn't really matter which one it is. Um, actually, this like this one has more resources overall, so probably want to get Navarra done. So that'd be good to do. Better artillery, hit them harder. Good, good, good. Grab some more extraction maybe because we're still lacking a lot of resources. Uh, horses? Can we get any horse upgrades? I don't know if these are gonna actually help us out. Ninety-two engineers, artillery. Still ahead of time, still ahead of time. Engineering? No, that's still ahead of time. Radar would be really cool to get. I guess just get some more of that stuff? I don't know. I really don't know. The Pirate Trader ships. What else is new? You guys. Okay, so they're not attacking us right now. I'd love to try to make another encircle. I just don't think we can. I hope that this is eating up a... Oh, that is eating up a lot of resistance. That's a lot of resistance. Wow. I like that. But we do have a cup of coffee here, though, as well. Do we need some more political power, manpower, or something? That would be really nice to have. I should not have gotten rid of the mercenaries. Oi. Can you guys actually win here? Come on, guys. Go, go, go. How are you losing? Ah, forts. Oh, come on. They got in there way too quickly. Sardom Russia declared one of the Kazan Khanate. Yeah, we just gotta dig in at this point. Just dig in, make more guns, counter defensive measures. Let's do Navarra next. Infrastructure's good. I want this is gonna get hit pretty darn hard. Dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in. We've lost 50,000 versus almost 150,000. Come on, guys. Uh, call them East Indies if you want. It doesn't really matter. They have way too much manpower. Uh, which one did they do? Oh, crap. That's not good to know. March Libro. Attack bonus. Securing the Spanish Netherlands. Obtaining local support. Oh, what the heck? They get six, just a flat 60. What the heck? The defense of the Ebro. Let's break through. They get even more defense. That's insane, man. That's insane. I kind of doubt you guys could do anything here, but you could try it. You guys are eight. Oh my gosh. Eight combat width? Why do we even have that? What's going on here? 
Oh, we're not going to be able to do that. We don't have enough manpower or political power, really. Whatever. Um, Urban Defense Commission? Yes. There we go. Can we can we do okay here, maybe? Maybe? All right, we got in there. Take out those three divisions. Kill every single one of them off. Good, good. We finally killed off a few more enemies. Cancel lonely. What the heck? Do we have enough guns? No, we don't. But we're getting closer. All right, so we're kind of back in business to a degree. Not too much, but a little bit, maybe. Just right there, 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 there. That's all I want. That's all I want. You know, that's all we need. Three. I'll get our guys to move around first. I want to make sure that every attack we do is very secure. And we still need more infantry equipment, too, so. Manpower is going to be an issue as well. Oh, man. Oh, boy. You three are eight. Why are we using eight combat width? Small militia. That is just straight garbage, dude. Can you guys actually win here? Probably not. Because it's so weak. Come on. Alright, we got in there. That's good. How are you losing? Seriously, how are they losing? Because these infantry is garbage. That's why. Get back out. Get back out. This sucks. This really does suck. Uh, secure the mountain passes? Sure, why not? Alright, so, you guys, come over here. We definitely don't want to attack into the mountains, but this is the only way we can encircle some people. Give them some time. Give them some engineers to help dig in until, you know, we have to attack again. Oh, this is costly. This is extremely costly. Now, it says you have two and one. You guys are what? Mediums? And But this one is a what? 40? Good. Send the 40 ones in. The faster you can kill them, the faster you can move in and kill these two divisions. Uh, just begin attacking them. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Attack from the north as well. Three divisions go bye-bye. Come on. Oh, we got him. We got him. What you deserve, France. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, maybe? That might be two, actually. That's not too bad. All right, we'll try it again. They lost a quarter million. Not bad. Still not attacking, which is weird, but okay. I'm glad we. I'm so glad we got artillery. Give us a little bit more time. Get, let the infantry move around as well. That'd be good. And we get some more forts. At least the Portuguese are in the war right now. Even though I just said that, we're probably going to jinx ourselves with that. All right. Proclaim the unification of Navarra. France does not control Bassa Navarra. Okay. Suppress subjects. Construction engineering. We do want to build more stuff more quickly. Resistance suppression would not be bad. What are we building? More military factories? Uh, is there anything else we could do? I mean, we just collect the political power. That's important. All right. Do we have good divisions here to use? You guys are mixed bag. Okay. God, I'm using this. You can't even win. Holy crap. You are so weak. Oh, my goodness. We just got to wait. That's literally what we got to do. We just got to wait. These guys land for level four. Uh, yes, please. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I, well, you know, maybe we'll push over that way. Maybe we'll try to come over here. Actually, if we get Boston, Nevada, that's what all we need for the war, right? So, give them some time. Extraction three is nice. It's eighteen ninety-three, which is not bad. Even more extraction is very nice. God, we need more extraction stuff. Support companies, engineers, not quite there yet. Maybe recon. Maybe get some recon. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Oh, we could, oh, we could do that. We could do that. But nope, nope. You ain't gonna tempt me. Devil's trying to tempt me, everyone. Man, you guys are slow. Because of it's a mountain and the war and the infrastructure. So slow. Oh, three divisions. Yeah, this is looking really bad. Holy crud. So just dig in. I wither guys d dug in with infantry. That's or engineers. That's really good. Uh, you guys are not that great. If we throw these guys on there, though. We're not gonna have enough of anything. At least throw some support, support artillery on there, and that gives us what? Almost 10 more so soft attack, and I'll convert them to 40 combo with anyway, so. Overall, we're looking a lot better in infantry equipment now. That's actually really good, even though the French are doing the same thing as well. 
They have lost a lot more manpower, or they're maybe the building more divisions, but. Hey, ooh, we're getting closer. So we can raise our conscription level, because we definitely have to go to... Well, I guess limited conscription's next. 150 as well. Alright, not bad. When's the next one going to be done? Oh, in like two months. Come on, if it, we have enough guns. We actually have enough guns for everybody. That's actually really, really good. Now, medium cavalry equipment, not so good. If that's the case, I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't do. Um, what is this like? 40 combo width. We already have a nice 40 combo widths. Mercenaries, mercenaries, goodbye. Uh, Spanish. I don't want to do this, but I just want the heavies. I just really want heavies. I wish there was a difference you could see between heavy and mediums. It makes more sense if there were, was. So you can, oh, say, oh, that's a heavy cavalry battalion. Cavalry battalion. Uh, do we have enough equipment? No, we don't, but it is what it is. What do you mean they're not attacking? What? Nope. What do we attack here? Okay, the cavalry's almost dead, so we got to stop using them. Okay, that's really good. Ah, there we go. Let's get some more manpower. Oh, God. We're almost running out, too. So, holy crud. Oh, wait. Did you... Oh, you're going up there. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. But... Hey, look at that. Proclaim the unification of Navarra. Finally. Something else. Cool. God, look how weak these guys are. Oh, goodness. Oh, but this is actually a really good thing if we come up here and go up there. This war's taking us quite a while, but that's okay. Just needed more manpower. Alright, they got a few divisions. Ooh. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. Come on. Well, pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. These guys are going to attack again, I, I bet. One, two, three would have been nice. Taking Toulouse would be very nice. Oh, yes. Let's just get some more equipment first. Wow. 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 That's not bad. Melee equipment's not really quite bad, too. Up next, we gotta go ahead and lower ourselves to close economy. Oh, we're going to the no Oh. Deal with the local nobility? Nice. Let's get some more equipment for these guys. Uh, infantry. I wanna say infantry is gonna have to lead the way this time. This is dangerous. Can we do something like that, maybe? Maybe? That's very dangerous. We could get encircled here. Oh, we got him, maybe? Two more divisions go bye 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 bye. Well, we got them. Oh, more military factories. Look at that. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, go and do that. Holy smokies. Oh, do we have enough? No. Uh, go right there maybe. I want more of this and more of that. So. God dang. Oh, that's looking not too good. The unification of Navarra. Just days after his grand coronation ceremony, King Francisco has given a speech that has sparked off massive of people in a newly troubled Spain. Francisco has proclaimed that, in light of the insulting reparations which the French have forced upon him under threat of war, he feels compelled to continue the absolutist policies of his father. Francisco argued that only through the power of an absolute monarch can this French can this French insult to the kingdom and to his family's name be answered. Reports say that at the end of Francisco's speech, given to an audience of no loyal nobles and then spread to the public at large, there's widespread applause. There's not a reaction that's been echoed throughout this rest of Spain, though. Oh, this is not the reaction. Many of Francisco's most ardent supporters until this point have been reformed-minded clergy, nobility, and workers. Francisco's address has dashed all hopes that Spain may see reform from the top down, has made what was already an unstable situation much more volatile. Meanwhile, Francisco's apparent loyalty to the status quo has earned him more friends among the often reactionary nobility and clergy. However, the speech has also parked protests and even mutinies in the Spanish army. Everything passing, Every passing day lowers a likelihood of Francisco being able to avoid a civil conflict. God is a Spaniard. Oh, crap. That's not good, then. Oh, look at that political power, though. Nice. Uh, we can raise other stuff. Hmm. Do anything, anything here? Just give us a little bit more push. Um, five attack, organization, and recovery rate. 20% more artillery attack. That's not bad. That's not bad. 20% for 10, though, is only, what, like, 2? So... As much as I want to do this one, I think we should lower our exports just because we could use a little bit more gunpowder. We could use a little bit more wood. We could use a little bit more iron. I think that's ultimately the best thing to do for right now. Spanish Inquisition. It's going to hurt us a little bit more, but that's all right. 17. It helps us out just slightly. Eh, maybe that wasn't really worth it. Whatever. But, I mean, we need more resources, so... Recon 2 is very nice. It is 83. 
Alright, so if I can still use you guys, we still need to come to like here and go we even though I don't think we really will be able to. Or go here and go to there. And go to there. Let's have to wait and see. Can you guys actually hop out there? Yes you can, good. Nice. You can help support the attack as well. Good. Maybe we can help attack there too, perhaps. Maybe? God dang it, these guys suck. If that's the case, I'm going to make it smaller and then first. We're going right here. Because they're definitely going to attack us here soon. Go, 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 go. And we are in. Kill them off. Three more divisions. Go bye-bye. Nice. Very good. Even when they're super weak. You can still do relatively okay. Actually, we go up to there. We had to go to Toulouse then, too. So we'll go here next. Give us some time. Get some more entrenchment. You know, all that good stuff. Uh, I don't want to do this one. We need to get more stability. We lose manpower, though. Um... What should we get every day? 1.46, actually, that's pretty darn good. Of course, we're not doing any focus right now, but whatever. Alright, pretty good. Go on in. Keep killing them, keep killing them. Excavation 1 is done. I guess we could do that, I suppose. Why not? Come on, it's only one division. Oh, we got them. Four divisions now, that's pretty nice. Four divisions. Just don't lose, don't lose. You are I will I will sacrifice the cavalry if I have to. Nice. Alright, so they're over a third of a million. We're sixty-six thousand. So we pushed up pretty darn far, I'd say. Pretty darn far. It's just slow. It's slow and meticulous. Sometimes you gotta do it like that though, so. Mechanized offensives, let's grab shock and awe. Airline battle. Uh, this side would be very worthless for us, pretty much. We get some more organization and air superiority, but I don't think we really have air superiority right now. Army training. Not too bad. Anyone have upgrades? Um, this has been some pretty ferocious fighting. Uh, we have not enough equipment. What else is new? I wonder if you guys could actually go in there with these two. With some support attack. That'd be really nice. And we're going to come over here and... Oh, that's 180. Oh, that's not good. That's a lot, actually. That's a whole lot. Could you guys actually do this and go into there? I would actually be quite happy with that. Go, 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 go. Keep them in place. Keep them in place. Just don't get in circle yourself. Take Bordeaux, take Bordeaux. Oh, we got Bordeaux. Oh, they're going to attack us really harshly then. Go in there too. Approved artillery, nice. Even better artillery. Oh, baby boy, we're going to get them. We're going to smoke them out. And, oh, oh, now they're attacking. Oh, we got them. We even took Bordeaux. Hey, before we're done, maybe we'll have all of France. Time to get more attack. Offensive links, Manuel Pavia, or Francisco. We're going to go with Francisco Cavero, because he's the same name as Francisco I. Probably. Legend has it that they share the same name. Now, I want to go here and just take these guys out and push them over the river, so it's a very nice defensive position. Get the cavalry moving and grooving and having a good time. Let's go in. Actually, the cavalry could go over the river if possible. Overwhelming numbers just coming in and just go smack smack. Oh, they they do have divisions over there. That sucks. If you guys could just help support the attack and break over the river like that, that'd be really good. Come on. Oh, we got him. To this. To this. Son, no. Son, no. Oh, oh boy. We might be able to break him. 
All right, we got another encirclement. Very nice. Oh, look at this. Set up an occupation regime. Cool. Just because we got Toulouse. And we broke over the river too, which is actually really cool. Whee! All right, they've lost for over 400,000. Do you want to keep this war up going, France? I don't think they can. Oh, the Ottomans and the King of the Romans. Huh. I'm not sure what that'll do, but okay. Sounds kind of cool. 300 days. Oh, God, this technology is so far away. I don't really want to do that one either. I'm going to build that up, I guess. King of the Romans. Oh, do we get the resources? Oh, we must have gotten the resources. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Uh, give us some time. Where are the King of the Romans? Oh, it's just the Greeks. That is... Out of the first. Okay. Oh, we're in Constantinople. Or Constantinopolis. All right. Alrighty, tidy. They probably know at this point we're going to attack them here too, so. Help them out. Keep pushing in. We should have them. Oh, just hold. Don't worry about it then. Beat them back. Good. Go there. All of you guys go there. Oh, the occupational government of Aquitaine. The cowardly French beaten. We are now free to decide what to do with the occupied lands. And of course, first of all, we must set a collaborationist regime to stabilize the region. It will be called occupational government of Aquitaine. And once there are negotiations with the current Duke of Aquitaine, Henri de Umbari, are finished, we will more than likely proclaim a fully independent state of some kind with the same name. It is expected that Mr. De Umbari will be the head of said government, and some people that are close to the ones holding the negotiations rumor that in exchange of his ascension to the new European system, he will be granted unforeseen powers and bestowed even stronger ties. Or titles. It all lays in the future, however, and our war is not over yet. We must secure all streets of all villages and make sure the serfs keep working now under a new administration. We shall remain focused. Nice. Oh, we yeah, actually just took this. Nice. That's pretty cool. Francisco, hello. Salud. We lost to the little countries, but that's okay. Arm the serfs, cool. And industrialize our homeland, very nice. Bourgeois and serfs, all serf. God dang, okay, just hold for now, that's fine. Just be prepared to move over there once we're ready to go, of course. Alright, my friends. Not bad, we're actually doing pretty well. Honorable peace. Uh, I don't really want to do an honorable peace, but I guess since it's part of the game, I guess we will. We have about 72,000 versus 404,000. How does that feel? Is that an American flag right there? They took all that territory, but how is that feeling? 100% resistance? That is a lot of resistance. They got even more manpower now. Stockpile? They only got some medium cavalry. That's it. It's kind of like us. Actually, we're doing pretty darn well. We just need more cavalry ourselves. Huh. Well, they have the cavalry. We don't. Uh, even better artillery. Yes, please go. Nice. Can even better artillery? Um, maybe not that one. Dragoons? I guess we might as well, right? Come on, guys. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come on. You gotta break these. You can't break them. Come on. They're, they're just not that thick. Screw it. Just go here. Show all the crap out of them. Hmm. Break over the river. Honorable peace, a fair deal. We'll accept their offer. Peace conference. Not bad. All right, my friends. New focus tree. Europe awaits. All right, let's see what happens. Demobilization, peace returns to our lands, the world's attention goes down. All right. Oh, we lost an entire army. Okay. All but you. Make sure you're all 40 combo with. Now we're really out of equipment. Except for guns. Guns are looking pretty good. You're all 14 except for you guys, which is fine. Oh, actually. Oh. Wait, they got to keep these? Wait, no, 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 no. That's not cool. Well, what was the point of that then? That might be a little glitched, actually. Rabat nationalism? Why did they get that then? I mean, yeah, they took them over, but still. Um, hmm. Alright. 
Now that's very weird. Oh, we still have Morocco. Oh, wow. Morocco's not looking good now, is it? Now resistance is going down even further. Alright, at least that's good, you know. Europe awaits. It's called Empire. Alright, let's see what happens with that. We got quite a bit of political power. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, how about we use some more? The famous chemist. Stability, political power, research speed, research speed, political power, monthly population. This one's just too good to pass up. That's really nice, actually. Alright, I mean, we are the victors of the war, so. We lost some. We actually lost the Lowlands. Which really sucked, actually. That's actually that actually really, really sucked. But, I think overall, we expanded our territory here, and that's what I really wanted, so. I just don't understand why they got this. That makes literally no sense. Why they don't give it back, especially when they lose, so. Liege. Well, at least we still got Pierre here. I'm glad we did not give that to the Netherlands. That would have been really bad. Uh, in the meantime, I guess go and train, guys. You could probably really use it, so. If we do end up going back to war with them, we'll be ready, so. Celebrate the Dia de la Victoria. And force a military parade in Paris. Uh, they heard a capital, yes. I like that. Enforce a military parade? Yeah, let's do that one. It's called Empire. Put a war? Huh. Uh, you guys looking okay? Make sure you guys are all... Actually, which one's the real thick one? So we have you guys. The Royal Spanish Cavalry Division. You guys are okay. Really, you guys are just kind of garrisons, like, so... Oh, I must have caps lock on. Okay, well, whatever. Royal Spanish Colonial Garrisons. There you go. Dragoon equipment's nice, I guess. Cavalry. Oh, you get more max speed. That's actually pretty good. Oh, so okay. So that's so the light cavalry becomes uh, dragoons. I don't know that. There you go. We need more. Oh, we need more resources. I guess I, just do it anyways. Well, who cares? All right, let's come back over here. Occupy territories. Establish a military parade. Ooh, actually, can we really afford that? I'm not really sure if we can. Let's go do that one first. Oh, we can't. Spanish. Wait, hold on. Okay, we'll call this one Garrisons. Oh, whoops, whoops. Oh, boy. You know what? I'm screwing up here so badly. Poor seeds. Rename. Duplicate. My bad. My fault. Gary's. Now double check. Cool. Take this off. I love military police to put on them, but whatever. Uh, actually, let's select the next focus. Everyone to their post. 30 day focus. Pretty nice. Um, that, this might be the end of the focus tree. I'm not really sure, but let's see what happens. Do we have enough equipment for that? No, we don't. Hmm. It's still going down, though. Compliance gain is disabled, huh? Well, we did that. It would still not go up. Okay. 0 0.8, 0 0.7. It's still going down anyways. I'll just keep it the way it is for now. It's fine. Whatever. And another post. Next upgrade we're going to grab is what? Electronics? No, nothing really here. Oh, we could have gotten this up too. Huh. All right. The sun will never set on the Spanish Empire. We get more political power. National spirit, more non-core manpower, two, plus two and a half percent, and better mobilization speed. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And who's this? Army organization, less experience gain. That's actually not too bad. Getting more political power is actually pretty good, as well as four percent more organization isn't that great, but it's not that bad. Actually, you get this guy two, twice. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Oh, and infantry defense plus five percent. That's not too bad either. I I was worried there, but we were gonna lose, you know. <clears throat> And now we get 1.62. That's all right. From every town, more monthly population. From every city, yeah, we can do it. By that, earlier when they were attacking us quite harshly, I'm like, I was a little worried we won't be, we weren't going to be able to win the war. But we held on, we held on, but and we did well. Fuel from refiners. Uh, we actually don't really need that one, but whatever. It is what it is. Ooh, actually, can we? Ooh, we could use the resources, don't we? Africa. Oh, we can trade with Africa. From every town. Commoners and nobles alike. Okay, cool. <clears throat> we'll take whatever we can grab from you guys. That's gunpowder. How about iron?
Yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing too much here. There's a lot of resources around, but not much. Well, let's grab at least one. Electrode of Hanover? It's not much, but we'll take it. And this stuff. Do we want to help Africa? Nah. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Now we can make quite a bit of weaponry. I like it. Comments and nobles alike from every city. 25 days, not bad. So you can actually get one gunpowder from this. That's actually kind of cool. Keep making the military factories, though, because we can still use them. Faster horse breeds? Cool. Even better dragoons? Why not? 0.62 every day, not bad. Praise and moderation would help us. I'm not going to lose stability for us. Alright, forward observers. So we could use more recon. And then, after from every city, get rid of Aquatina factories. Okay, well. Nice, we get another military factory. I don't mind that. That's another 50 day focus. Wow. Cool. And we're looking pretty good here, too. These guys are really thick. We don't like them thick. If they're not thick, we don't like them. So, what are we missing? We're doing well in guns. We're, we need quite a bit more melee equipment, too. And medium cavalry equipment. So, that's Dragoon stuff, I think. No, no. No, that, that is Dragoon stuff. Okay. Uh, muskets are looking pretty good, too. Oh, this needs way, 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 way more. Wow. And we made a lot of convoys. We got almost 800. So, after this one, we will crack down on French loyalists or confiscate local machinery. That's not bad. I like the research speed. Oh, we can give them more stability. And we will get more political power. Let's probably do crack down on French loyalists. That would probably be really good to do, so. Yeah, this is... It seems like the end of it, but, you know, it's not too bad. Kingdom of Spain, we've done really well. It's really, really lucky that we did not end up in a war against Portugal at the same time. Portugal, Brazil, I should say. Oh, they are in the same faction, though. Oh, oh, that is not nice. The French Entente. We got really unlucky that no one wanted to join us except for the Pope. That was really unfortunate. Even Tuscany said no. How dare you, Tuscany. You're disgusting. God, I can't wait to see what the developers have in store for, like, the Habsburg Monarchy, which I know has a little bit of content. Uh, but not a whole bunch, but they do, do have some content. Uh, I'd like to see the post of the winning Commonwealth. I'd love to see a way where you can, you know, unite all of Germany under one rule. Maybe a little bit of England, Scotland, especially since they own Wales, which is weird, but whatever. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Uh, I'd, do, I'd rather do this one first. Cool. Oh. Well, that's wait. Oh, parts of your ships. That's fine, whatever. Research will be done in about a month. And then we're going to do confiscate local machinery, which would be very nice. Research B plus 5%. Nice. It's only 30 day focus. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do that phone first. That's fine. At 50,000, that's not great, but we do have 17 divisions now. Oh, wait, how much manpower does it cost for a 40 combo with division? Horses. It only costs 21,000 manpower. That's. <laughs> wow. That's all. Just 21,000. Just casual 21,000. Yeah, I'm, I'm considering raising up a conscription level again. But at the same time, offensive links. Oh, I mean, having 40 combo with 14-4 would not be bad, for, especially for that, plus 20% for, like, four artillery battalions at the same time would be really nice, but... Model puppet, cool. More political power, stability, construction speed for our ally, cool, cool, cool. Cursors, why not? But even 5% more attack, more organization, better recovery rate. These guys are a force to be feared. Okay, now we gotta raise the conscription level again. Um, Liege is still here. I can get rid of you for now. Uh, you wanna go home? No? Okay. Spanish Aquitaine looks like an American flag or Liberian flag. Alright, not bad. You guys aren't looking too bad either. Not great, though. Not great. Halfway through that focus. Actually, how, how I mean, it's 50 days. We're halfway through it. Okay, that's not bad. Because then we have Francisco's age. Occupation costs. Wait, what does occupation cost? Minus 0 0.05? What does that mean? We get 10% more stability, which is nice for Francisco's age, but securing our future? Oh, um, expansion of Empire. Maybe there's another focus you have this. I don't know, but happy 19, 1895, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. And I guess we'll take a look. We got about a week left, but it's, it's pretty quick, so I'm not too worried about it. Francisco's age. I like the little icon, though. That's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. And... All right, well, I guess we'll try it. All right, everyone. So we're almost done securing our future. We've already finished up for Francisco... Francisco's age, occupation cost is down, and we get some more stability with this one in about one day. So let's see. Expansion of our empire. Our signs are set on India. Oh. oh, look at that. We got stuff down here. Um. Wait, Mysore. Wait, wait. Kingdom of Mysore. Uh. The French state is. The French on. 
taunts down here. Is, is that it? Um, that that might be it. I think. I I, I don't know. We don't have any ships. Like, I can't na- I don't think we can navel invade, can we? Right, send everyone down there first, I guess. Um... I don't think we can get down there, can we? Oh, we don't even have- Oh, we don't even have the naval technology done. Oh, don't tell me we have to actually have- Oh, we have nothing done! I- don't know if there's anything there we can really take, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure about that one. Ship designer? Sure, we'll grab that if we need to research some ship stuff. But let me go see if there's anything after we uh, totally take them out fair and square-like. Alright, my apologies, we didn't need to actually use cons commands, because apparently we were given this Val de Tamil spot, so let's try it out. See what my source got up their sleeve. Can they contest... Oh! They do want it. They don't like us. They really don't like us. Look at that. Let's see. Before things happen... Ooh, we got Ford Observers done. There's a lot of Indian guys over there. They don't have a lot of division. So basically, what we're seeing is their entire army right now. We're almost done with our land doctrine as well. So... They've lost 8,000. Uh, hopefully they continue this because I was not expecting these guys to come over here. And actually, ha that's only half of the army over here. I put the other 11 over there and we got another division moving up as well. So... Uh, they're going to run out of equipment before anything else. So I'm not really sure what to say. Except keep it up. They have up to 10 divisions, apparently. Um, because the mod can move so fast, the, it looks like the Mysore divisions are just freaking the heck out. So, I, I'm not sure what to say. I mean, they're literally killing themselves on the line, maybe. They're so close to killing themselves on the line. So, yeah. Oh, they stopped. Can we go? Up. Oh, okay, oh, get them. Yeah, let's go. That was pretty easy. I like it. That was pretty fun. Yeah, Inquisition, sure. And we had a lot more manpower, so or political power, so I just did extensive conscription. And we've killed off 89,000 of them. That, the horse division's left. Please don't kill the horses. Kill the men, but leave the horses. Please, please, please. The horses are slightly innocent. Slightly. Mangalore, thank you very much. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So, was that it? That might be it? That might be it. Okay, that's really cool. Now we can double up and... Oh, uh, no guys, we want to touch the French here. But I think that's the end of the content for the Spanish Empire. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong about that. But I don't think there's anything left. We have no unique focus tree now. I mean, what was there was great. It just needs some more polishing. I know this mod's getting so worked on by the developers. The developers love their mod. And it's going to keep getting worked on. But I'm interested in seeing what else there is for the mod. If there's enough support for me to try out the French maybe and try them out. And or the Habsburg, because both of these, I think at the time of this recording, both of these nations have so much manpower. Have some content, not a lot, but at least have some content. Wow, look at all that stuff. But regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow in another video, and I hope you have a great, great rest of your day.